Proclaim the salvation of God day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We come to celebrate this great feast of Saint Bartholomew. Nathaniel, as he will be referred to in the Gospel, will hear. Man uh, of great integrity, a man of great witness. As we come to reflect on our own vocation, our own calling to follow, uh, we recognise our need, as he did, of the Lord in our lives. We recognise our need of forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you've revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. This Mass is prayed with the intention that Antonio may rest in peace, and so let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The angel came to speak to me and said, Come here, and I will show you the bride that the Lamb has married. In the spirit, he took me to the top of an enormous high mountain and showed me Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down from God out of heaven. It had all the radiant glory of God and glittered like some precious jewel of crystal clear diamond. The walls of it were of great height and had twelve gates. At each of the twelve gates there was an angel, and over the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. On the east there were three gates, on the north there were three gates, on the west there were three gates, and on the south there were three gates. The city walls stood on twelve foundation stones, each one of which bore the name of the one of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. Your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord make, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. Your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord make, make known the, the glorious splendor of your reign. reign. They make known to me your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. 
your friends, O oh Lord, Lord, make known the glorious the splendor of your reign. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Your friends, O oh Lord, Lord, make known the, the glorious splendor of your reign. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, the one about whom the prophets wrote. He is Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. From Nazareth, said Nathanael, can anything good come from that place? Come and see, replied Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There is an Israelite who deserves the name incapable of deceit. How do you know me, said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus replied, you believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you most solemnly, you will see heaven laid open and above the Son of Man, the angels of God, ascending and descending. The Gospel of the Lord. To admit, I struggled a little with this homily. It's been a long year. Maybe it's the 36 uh, years of 36 homilies on St. Bartholomew. Maybe a little struggle, as it were, for something new to say, particularly given how little we know about his life. The famous words that begin many of the commentaries of the very early saints, little is known for certain. They do go on to, to disagree about some things, some suggesting that he went to India, uh, others wondering whether or not he converted a king and was therefore martyred in revenge, some that the manner of his martyrdom thought to be by skinning. Many, though not all, at least agree that St. Bartholomew is the convert that we meet in the gospel that we've just heard. Nathaniel. And maybe in a way what we've just heard is enough. Two things that that short gospel uh, tells us. Firstly, that the Lord himself chose to highlight that thing about Nathaniel that stood out. And therefore, perhaps the thing that should matter most to us. The Lord says, there is an Israelite who deserves the name incapable of deceit. The dictionary defines deceit, or at least one of them, defines deceit as the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is in fact false or invalid. Here is a man who is incapable of misleading people. He will only bring them what is true and valid. Which leads us to the second thing. What does he bring them? It's what we know about him, his faith. That line too in the gospel, Rabbi, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. And so we know perhaps all we need to know that Bartholomew is the perfect witness. 
Someone who you can recognize clearly uh, that they are known for telling the truth and someone who knows that that truth is that Christ is the Son of God, who knows that Christ is the cornerstone, who proclaims that truth to the world and in so doing becomes one of the 12 foundation stones of which the first reading spoke. Which makes, I would suggest, St. Bartholomew a huge encouragement to us. Whereas saints like Mother Teresa, Maximilian Kolbe, Francis of Assisi, Thomas Aquinas, for various reasons we might almost excuse ourselves and say, oh, well, I don't have his intellect. I don't have that opportunity. I don't live in a place where I haven't and we can maybe uh, explain that we can't live exactly as they did because. But St. Bartholomew perhaps suggests to us that it's incredibly simple. Maybe for 36 years I've been trying to overcomplicate it. St. Bartholomew simply shows us that if we believe and if we live our lives with integrity, then we can follow in the Lord's footsteps. If we believe and if we live our lives with integrity, then others will want to follow in their turn. And so on this wonderful, inspirational day, we ask St. Bartholomew, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle in whose honour we bring you this sacrifice of praise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bartholomew and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. 
There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ.
Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. To wish you a very happy, a very blessed feast day. Do please, as ever, celebrate the feast days. Make it a real witness. Then uh, we will be following in those footsteps of Bartholomew. As others ask what it is that has inspired us, and we are able to tell them with that same uh, integrity and confidence. So we pray uh, the, the blessing at the end of this Mass, blessing... Uh, dedicated to the apostles, that we may follow their example, we may follow in their footsteps. So the Lord be with you. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Bartholomew. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you, under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and stay with you always. So go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.